smoked salmon eggs benedict with caviar and sauce maltese. Now, first thing we have to do is make our maltese, which is a version of hollandaise. It's a two-step process, so let me show you. So if we have some boiling water, and I have in this, I've already cooked this, I have a beautiful juice of some oranges, peppercorn, and some vinegar. I've reduced it down to just before it's sort of almost dry, and I'm gonna put that off to the side. Then over here, I have what's called clarified butter. It's butter that I just simmer really slow and skim the top. I'm skimming the milk solids and the impurities, so you get this beautiful, clear, complete butter. In Indian cooking, it's called ghee. The next thing is I have a bowl with egg yolks, four egg yolks, room temperature, and I'm gonna put it over this. Bamelli or the hot water is just simmering. You don't want a rolling boil because you don't want to scramble the egg. So the process is this is gonna be whipped over the water. It's not gonna be touching the water. What's gonna happen is the eggs are gonna form an emulsion. That emulsion is gonna allow me to add the fat which is the butter, to the protein, which is the eggs. And the magic of the emulsion and the heat will make it come fluffy and together. It's really a remarkable sauce. It's the base sauce for a lot of French cooking. Then we're gonna add the reduced orange juice to it and make it a maltese. If we added tarragon reduction, it would be a bernays, but it's the same base. So now we're just gonna start whipping this. This takes some time. You don't wanna rush it. I'm gonna add a touch of salt and just stand over it. Make sure you just have the, the water on simmer and you're, you're really on top of it. If you leave it for a second, it can get kind of scrambled. You don't want to have scrambled egg yolk. So this is the base of hollandaise. It's going to take a few minutes to get foamy and it's going to peel away from the bowl. Then we start adding our butter in small amounts in the drizzle. So I'm going to put a touch of water in here just because I see it getting a little thick and I'm just going to add the water. And now we add the butter in a stream, okay? Usually you, you do it in a stream like this in small quantities. And you can see it's already sort of started to thicken up a bit. Once you get that first emulsion started, you can add a little more butter a little quicker. So I think we are ready to add our reduction, which is our maltese reduction, which is orange juice and vinegar to this. Here we go. Everything in, peppercorns and all. We have our hollandaise. So I have hot water in a sautoir. It's another great French word, which means a saute pan with straight sides. It's really the perfect pan for poaching eggs in. And we're gonna get water halfway up and we're gonna put a touch of white wine vinegar. Now, there are a lot of people that think this is a wives tale. This tightens up the albumin and the egg white and I find it, you get a better, a better poach. I put a, putting a touch of salt in the water and then I'm just stirring the water clockwise. I put my eggs in a glass jar ahead of time. So we break something or break the egg yolk you throw away or you have some shell, you can take it out. And I'm just gonna drop them in and they're gonna go on the current. It's like the Gulf Stream, you know? It's going around and around in circles. That's how I was taught to make them. So we're just gonna let them hang out there. It's on a medium simmer and it's gonna take about two to maybe three minutes so they're, they're baveurs or wet. You want the yolk runny because that's what uh, poached eggs are all about, a runny yolk. So next to me, I have a plate with a rag. Reason why they're gonna come out, they're gonna be wet. So I wanna put them here first, and then we're gonna build our Benedict. All right, our poached eggs are ready. We're taking them out. Look how nice and wiggly they are. They're beautifully formed. You know, it took about two minutes total. And then we're gonna come over here and build our dish. Okay, some toasted English muffins. You have to have English muffins, right? Put the avocado on first. So I'm going to make sort of like a beautiful avocado fan here on the side. I'm not going to go all around. I'm going to be daring, right? Really important with avocado, you must always salt avocado because it's one of those rich fats that needs salt, that asks for salt. All right, we're going to take our smoked salmon, very thin, very fine smoked salmon, and just sort of put some pillows on that side. Doesn't that look pretty already? I don't even have an egg on it. So we're gonna put our egg right here on the middle. We're gonna get our second egg, our second egg here. Oh, it's warm and yummy. This is the part that's the tough part because when you ever get eggs, you wanna make sure that they're warm. So we're just gonna go like this. And remember, we're gonna nappy across because we wanna make sure that we highlight that gorgeous smoked salmon and avocado. We don't wanna mess with that. You know, a lot of people just douse the whole thing. No, never, you wanna see all the colors. And then we're gonna add a touch of black to it with the caviar. Fantastic. When you use caviar, always mother of pearl or wood. Never use a stainless steel spoon because it'll react to caviar and it'll taste metallic. So if you don't like play with the caviar, you wanna break the egg. So I take one nice dollop, 
and put it here. I don't spread it out. Another nice dollop and put it here. Don't spread it. It's got to be on top. And when you're using caviar, don't be stingy. Really important. Now, for a little touch of vinegar and sourness, some pickled onions. Now, I'm not going to put them on top because I don't want the onions to interfere with the caviar. I'm just going to put them on the, on the side, sort of leaning like that. Doesn't that look good? Smoked salmon, caviar. Dill makes sense. All right, so it's going to take some fresh dill and drop it. You don't have to chop dill. Dill is perfect like this. It's gorgeous. It smells great. And this dish wants dill. All right, eggs benedict, smoked salmon, and sauce maltese. Bon appetit.